Hello everyone, today I am presenting you a full guide on how to choose servers on Overwatch 2 using Overwatch 2 Server Selector. It is basically an app that allows players to easily switch between servers. The development of the app took a lot of time and efforts. From collecting the IP ranges to developing the graphical user interface. Let's get to it. First head to the project page on GitHub and navigate to releases. Link will be in the description. Choose the latest release, then download the setup file and install. After installing the app, we need to check some of the requirements. This is the most important section to understand the limits and needs for the app to work. The first requirement is excluding the app from Windows security. This will ensure that the app won't be considered as suspicious software by Windows. You may ask why. Simply, Microsoft considers apps that are not certified with a paid certificate, not trusted. Since this is a development project, we have to do it this way. This won't stop your firewall, it's just excluding the app from being viewed as a threat, for reasons I mentioned. So how we can exclude the app? From Start menu, search for Windows Security and click on it. From the left menu, choose Virus and Threat Protection. Under Virus and Threat Protection settings, click on Manage Settings. Then click on Add Exclusion and choose Folder. Choose the folder where you installed the app, while the default location is shown here. Then press Select Folder. Second requirement. Making sure your Windows Defender Firewall is enabled. The way the app works is by adding a set of rules into the Advanced Firewall that requires Windows Defender Firewall to be enabled. To enable Windows Defender Firewall, navigate to Control Panel. Then head to Windows Defender Firewall. From the left menu, choose Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Then make sure both options are on. Third requirement. Before selecting any options on the app, make sure your region on BetterNet Launcher is set to Americas or Europe. Fourth requirement. If you're using the app while playing with your friends, they have to be using the app with the same option you chose. If they did not use the app while you queue together, you might get pulled to the server that you blocked, but your friend didn't. Therefore, you will get a failed connection error. Fifth requirement. When you choose any option, make sure that the game is closed. This is due to the mechanism of how Overwatch works. As you launch the game, the algorithm of Overwatch knows which servers you can connect to. If you launch the game before blocking servers from the app, Overwatch thinks that you can connect to XYZ server, and then you choose an option from the app, then that connection XYZ is no longer available, but Overwatch doesn't know that. As a result, you might get connection failed error. So make sure you only apply or change options when the game is not running. Last requirement. Make sure your firewall is not controlled by a third-party antivirus, since the app rely on Windows Firewall to block connections. Simply open the app and choose the option you want to. Since we are blocking servers, you might want to affect Overwatch only, which known as tunneling, which allow the blocking effect to only affect Overwatch and not other apps or sites. You can do that by checking Affect Overwatch Only option and then locate the overwatch.exe file under underscore retail underscore. Custom config. Custom config allow you to create your custom preference since the default option provided only allow regional selection. While on custom config you can configure all available servers. Simply click on the gear icon and you will see all servers. Keep in mind any selection here means that those servers will be blocked. For example, we want to play on Singapore. So we select all options except Singapore. 
then click apply and now the custom config button is configured to play on Singapore. You can also experiment with these settings to figure out which server you want to play on. Gameplay In this example, we will test the gameplay to see how the app works. So when the game is closed, we can simply choose our option. In this case, I will choose play on NA West. Then I will launch the game and queue to quick play. You can see on the top left corner, I got placed into the server I chose. I have created a Discord server to allow direct communication with the community, whether it is an issue or recommendation to improve the app. You can also find different channels to talk to other app users and discuss different things. Also, you can create a ticket for an issue by going to the tickets section and create a ticket, then fill the form. So a question is always asked. Is it bannable? The short answer is no. We are not violating Blizzard user agreement. We are just blocking connection that we don't want. Let's take an example. At some countries, the ISP, which is Internet Server Provider, block connection to other countries, which result in a failed connection when played in Overwatch. They are simply blocking connection. If users from that country will be banned for their ISP blocking connection to Overwatch servers, that would be a madness. This project is for the community, therefore it's free. I'm not benefiting financially from it, but I'm putting my time to support it and keep developing it. So please consider donation. My donation link is in the description.